adjust vocabulary the oldest of indo european language the vocabulary is so precise and so great nobody is bothered about that that is the, we are lacking the national spirit majority are talking hindi so hindi is a natural language what about hebrew jews overnight they made hebrew their mother tongue they brought persons from outside to learn that is that is the that is the, that is the ichha shakti we are lacking that so what we have to get, <laughs> we have to achieve many things based on our national heritage we have got, we, this is a country where learning starter nowhere else and we know when when we have to learn everything is done in the wrong way now all phd students they go to they start learning at 10 o'clock up to 2 o'clock they will learn then they will go to sleep this is the worst time in the day the expression of devi is given to a day 2 to 6 is the time for saraswati 6 to 10 is for shri all devi 10 to 2 for jeshta all inauspicious time that is the time where exactly at that time our offices will be open including schools 2 to 6 is parvati yama for dramatics grammar phonetics this is the time and 6 to 10 is durga yama this is for martial arts 10 to 2 again kali yama the mind should not function at that time if the if we are awake at that time 2 to 10 that will destroy the entire personality and intellectual capacity 10 to 2 10 to 2 we must be deep asleep in that time you should not be awake at all very particular only at that time they will study i have everybody only one person who came to treatment i, I forgot his name only but he gets up by 5 you know the name or only one person everybody 10 o'clock after sunrise you you lie down means it will rob away energy pittam will pitta will increase and so many complications will occur you will never be healthy basically go to bed early and get up early sleeping time is 6 pm to 6 am in that period you have to manage 8 hours sleep you can choose anywhere not beyond that so 8 hour is a, is a healthy period that that varies actually person to person it varies that depends on our interests in life and uh, the duty to perform so many factors are there it is dependent on so many factors but basically 8 hours sleep is the standard not less than that occasionally we can we can avoid sleep but generally 8 hours must be there for efficiency so the pratnyaparadham asatmyanti artham yoga i am telling about asatmyanti artham sense and sensory objects that proportion is not there that will be harmful for example i if colors intense colors blazing sunlight everything is harmful to the harmful to eye not only eye not only eye brain all these sensory objects will take senses to the brain brain will be disturbed so that will tell upon the health not only eye then the kranendriya nose all noxious substances intense smell everything will dis disturb the balance of the person and it will be harmful so, so ayogam adiyogam and hina yoga absence of sensory impulse very low power or in excess light if you read in very low light for example a candle it will be harmful this is it is actually hira yoga you must 
the, it, uh, it will be properly illumined. There must be proper lighting for reading. If it is more harmful, it is less harmful. It is harmful. So our sensory system has got a specific range in which alone it will be functioning properly. If very bright light, the retina will burn completely. It, it, the light intensity is so much. For for example, ten thousand candle light at a time, it may lose it may lose its functioning capacity. Hearing also, it goes beyond certain decibel, ear drum will break. If it is very minimal, that is also hina yoga. Hina midhya adi yoga. Midhya yoga means disproportionate combination of sounds. For example, shouting, challenging. All these uh, sounds will affect the system which it perceives. It will be causative for diseases. Shabdas, Parse, Rupa, Rasagandha, all the five sensory inputs, if go beyond the limit or it is less or in disproportionate way, it may contribute to Hina Yogam, Mithya Yogam and Adi Yogam. All are harmful. It is limited, it has got only limited capacity. That is why our Rishi say this should not be dependent upon. It is only for your protection about the era surrounding the atmosphere. Some danger is coming, it is perceived. You have to safeguard yourself. Only that much. Like animals are doing. If you want to find out, the, realize the truth, you have to go beyond that. That is called Indriya Nigraha. Understand? The indriyas, the five sense organs are used in a disproportionate way, in an excessive way or disuse. It will be tell up, telling upon health. It will affect the health badly. This is not accepted by, this is not known by any other system, only Ayurveda. Asat means the Yatsam Yoga. The other one is very, very important. Pratnya Varatham. Pratnya means wisdom the thinking apparatus. If it is used, it is in English it can be trans, trans, transgression. When it is used in a wrong way, intellect. Intellect has three functions. Dhridi, Thi, Dhridi, Smriti. Thi means the capacity to determine. Dhridi means the capacity to act according to that. That courage to act, Dhridi. Smriti is the memory. All the three together, we act. If you desire something, then we have to act. We must have the courage to act, the potentiality to act. And we must memorize the facts we have already decided upon. All the three will constitute the pratnya. Pratnyabharatha means transgression. It's something which you are not supposed to do. It, it may be dhi bhramsham, thridi bhramsham, or Smriti Bhramsham. Dhi Bhramsham we can see everywhere now. So, whatever you should, you are supposed to do, you will not do. Just to go against that. Smoking is very bad. It is known to him. I have met one wonderful person who is uh, very, very adept in biosciences, the two in malignancy. That person, the heavy smoker. He see the cytology every day. <coughs> the harm produced to the lung tissue, he see at least 10 samples every day. And he is a smoker. This is the pramsham. The intelligence is, in, intelligence is there, wisdom is there, he understands, sees things, but act against that. This is the pramsham. Through the pramsham, Without any hesitation, however other people advise them not to do, it will never act upon him. That's Sridhi Brahmsham. Sridhi Brahmsham will ne never remember that. What all things happen to many others, the same thing he is repeating, the same fate he also has to face, these things will not come. So, the Pratnyabharyasam can be This Brahmsham, Sridhi Brahmsham and Sridhi Brahmsham. This is causative factor for all the diseases. The other one, the unsurmountable, is Parinama. That 
whatever way you protect the body, it has to die once. By Rasayana treatment and lifestyle modification, we can stall for 200 years. According to Yoga Shastra, it is different. As long as you want, you can live. But as far common man is concerned, it can be stalled for some more time. For example, by Rasayana treatment, we can bring back 10 years. If Dr. Prabhagar is treated properly, he can bring back here to 40s. He is in 40s. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can do that, only that much. At last, we have to succumb. <coughs> this is the limitation. So, Hasti, Jayade, Varthede, Parinavade, Abhakshade, Nashade. These are the six states for everything created. It has to, for human beings, it has been conceived and it has delivered. Jayade, Varthede, gradually it grows. Then, Abhakshade. It has to give back whatever is taken and nashyade. So, asti, jayade, varthede, paranavade, apashyade, nashyade. These six states are common for all living beings. That is parinama. No medicine, no lifestyle, nothing can protect the person from that. These six stages of development is they are destined to. That is parinama we can do only little for preventing that. These are the three aspects the Ayurveda concept uh, takes it as major cause or important cause of pathogenesis. Asat means they are samyogam, pratnyapiratham and parinam. Is there any doubt please? Are there any texts which one can read to get these tools? The Brahatra is the basic text. Vakphada, Sushruta and Charaga. All our English, English commentaries are there. All our English. But certain practices you can see. There, as far as we are concerned, we have no secret at all. <coughs> Any formula we will give. If you come. Any more doubt, please? Yeah. Is it, yeah. Definitely we can do, we are planning. In the nearby villages, we can, uh, we will have some medical camps, <coughs> not, so modern, not like modern medicine. We will I live with them. Anyway, we are, we, our uh, intention is, we are, we belong to International Foundation for Ayurvedic Research and Training. We take postgraduate students after completing their degree, we give them training. So, we are doing that. Our uh, students are working all over the world. They are successfully practicing. The small way we are doing. And those who are in modern medicine, also, we are giving training. Modern practitioners also, they can understand in a better way. Actually, to understand Ayurveda in a better way, modern medicine is the basic degree. When I joined medical college, my belief in Ayurveda increased at least thousandfold after studying modern medicine. Modern medicine it has got a certain parameters by which we can understand in a better way. So, for greater understanding of Ayurveda, modern medicine is very, very essential. Modern medicine, like the Hindu religion, it can emphasize.